Hey, this is Chris at Record Talk, and so today we have a response, a thread, uh, whatever you want to call it. So Richard McCook recently made a video talking about uh, 10 of his favorite live singles. So we're talking about 7-inch uh, single records, typically 45 RPM, uh, that were recorded live. So maybe they came from a live album. There's could be a, f a few different sources, and you'll see in the 10 that I'm going to present... Um, there's sort of different reasons why you've got a live, a live song or both sides live. Um, don't take my ordering too seriously. I didn't really take it too seriously. Uh, but the first kind I see is there'll be uh, singles where the A side is the expected, uh, what you heard on the radio, uh, what was on the studio album. But then the B side will be some sort of live track. So sometimes it'll be the same track as a live version or a different song off of that album, or maybe a hit off a previous album, probably trying to increase sales to fans of the band. You, the, the live version's only on the single. You're not gonna get that on the album. Uh, so one version of that, the first one I'm gonna show is uh, this David Bowie record. And I'm pretty sure Richard is a David Bowie fan. It's probably not gonna be true of everything I show. So this is Modern Love in the picture sleeve. And so the A side is completely what you expect. It's the uh, single, but the B side has a live version. You can see it says live there on the left-hand side. Um, and the time is slightly shorter than the studio version. So you've got the studio version and the live version of Modern Love on the same record. Um, a slightly different take on that. Um, so this one's in a generic sleeve. Uh, this is Nirvana. Um, and so the Come As You Are single uh, from the album, as you expect, on the A side. The B side, Drain You, which is also a song off of uh, the Nevermind album, but this is a live version of the song. And I think it specifies somewhere... Yeah, so, um, and both of the records I just showed were stuff I got from Adam at the Record Crate. He's been doing a lot of 7-inch sales on his YouTube channel. If you are in the United States, um, not a bad place to pick up records. Um, then the rest of these records I've picked up in a variety of other sources. So my number eight is going to be something recently from a Antique Mall dig. So this is Commander Cody. Diggy Liggy Low uh, from the Paramount LP, live from, the, live from Deep in the Heart of Texas. You can see it's a promo on the dot label. Uh, the B-side is also a song from that live album called Sunset on the Sage. And this is from about 1974. Um, and then we've got, um, so this is on Rhino, Billy Vera and the Beaters at this moment. And if you look underneath the credits there, it says recorded live at the Roxy. Um, and the, the B side, I can take care of myself, also recorded live at the Roxy. Uh, the next couple uh, are both Third Man Records uh, versions from the Third Man Live, the so-called Blue Series. And so these are recorded straight to acetate. So a true one step. And so I've got one by the Alabama Shakes, um, and they both come in, they have this pretty standardized format. They come in, uh, Be Mine and You Ain't Alone are the two songs on the one by Alabama Shakes. I have another one of the singles from that series by uh, Waxahachie. You can see exactly the same sort of sleeve, the same sort of label. Uh, Greenville is the A side, and uh, La Luz is the B side, and so and, and they have several other records in this series as well. Next, we're going to go the bootleg route. So this is the Fluid. Uh, so the Fluid was sort of a alternative rock grunge band from Denver, Colorado. That were around in the late 80s, early 90s. And so 
Um, this is a four song EP on a seven inch called Twisted and Pissed, live 1988. Um, and there's nothing on this record jacket and nothing in my research that uh, demonstrated where this was recorded. The label is actually completely blank. Um, so, and the, the way I got a hold of this, um, I was buying from a Discog seller. Um, I had bought a different uh, Fluid single along with a couple other things. And then the person let me know, hey, I got this Fluid bootleg that I can't list on Discogs, but I noticed you ordered something by the Fluid, so are you interested in it? And I decided, uh, yeah, send them extra money on PayPal and I got it just fine. Um, so it's a bootleg. Um, this isn't a bootleg, but this is an oddity by the Lemonheads. Mi nam is Locha. Um, so that's my terrible Dutch. Um, so this is a Dutch pressing. And so I think I've shown this before. But the story behind this was that the Lemonheads were on a European tour. And, okay, there's actually print on this label, but we just can't see it at all. So Luca, which was the uh, song by... Uh, Suzanne Vega that the Lemonheads covered is on the A side. And then on the B side, there's a short interview uh, that uh, a woman who worked for the Dutch radio station was supposedly doing with Evan Dando, but she was actually interviewing a guy named Corey Luke Brennan, who is uh, was the guitar player in the Lemonheads at the time, who was pretending to be Evan Dando. So, of course, I thought that was funny. And then the song Mallow Cup is also on the B side. And I believe that the B-side, yeah, these were all recorded uh, live in the studio of the Dutch radio station. A couple more to go, so I guess my number two. So we've got another 80s picture sleeve, Moni Moni Live uh, by Billy Idol, Moni Moni Live. And of course, if you're of a certain age, such as me, uh, you remember dance clubs would play Moni Moni and then we would chant uh, various profane things to go along with the song. Of course, this is a cover of some uh, hit by the Tommy James and the Shondells back at some point in the 60s. And then my number one, this is going to be sort of cliche. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture sleeve of this. And the epic, these epic labels, like RCA labels of this era, fade kind of badly. But this is I Want You to Want Me by Cheap Trick. And Clock Strikes 10 on the B-side. And these are both the versions from the classic Live at Budokan album. Um, and so there you go. So um, I latched on the Richard's idea, showed you 10 live 45s. And if you've got enough 45s to do this, if you don't have 10 and you want to do just five, I'm, I'm going to say that's okay. Hopefully Richard will. I think Richard would probably rather see you show five than not do it at all. So maybe others will jump on as well because seven inch records rule.